Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bold CNC Works. My name is Nugent. Today we are going to be creating our own split lettering monograms. You can use anything to partner with your letter. I've chosen filigree to make my split lettering. Um, I'm going to be using Lightburn because Lightburn is more than just a laser software. You can use it to create vectors and I am totally in love with it. So I will be using Lightburn today. So first let's choose a font for our lettering. Let me just clear this. Just highlight. Click and delete. So for me, I'm going to be choosing Times New Roman. So let's start with A. Sorry. A. So let's go back to the select tool. Let's just click this close so that the aspect ratio remains the same. Then for the width, I'm going to be using 200 millimeters. Now, the reason I'm using 200 millimeters is because I want um, something that I can replicate throughout this process. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing is just creating a small rectangle. Let's just unlock this. We are going to be making it 200 millimeters in width. And then we're just going to be making it 2 millimeters in height. Click OK. Now I want to duplicate this and move that. Just select this one and just move it down. Now I want it as two millimeters as well. It doesn't seem to have worked. Let me delete this. Go back to this one. Click Control D or Command D if you're using a Mac and then just bring it down. Now let's select both. Just eyeball it. Um, yes, that spacing would be enough for you to see the letter or the wording within the monogram. Let's just move this up a little more. Yes, I think that will work. So I'm going to be selecting from right to left, which means everything that I touch with the select button, it gets selected. I'm going to group this because I don't want this to change. Now I'm going to be duplicating it three times and let's just move this out of the way. Use two. So now you need to cut this part out so that it can be clear in the middle. So let's select both of them, go up to tools. I love using Boolean Assistant because it shows you what will happen if you do that. Now this looks okay, but the middle part is still there. We don't want this. This is the one that we want. So we select subtract A minus B and we click OK. Now we want to ungroup it, select the middle part, regroup it again so that it can be one layer. Now we are going to move this back to the middle. Let's just select this one and just center it on each other. Now what we want to do is I want to come and ungroup the lines, move this one down just a little bit. I'm using my keyboard, so I'm pressing control and the down arrow once. 
so that the lines intersect with each other. Now I select from left to right and everything is selected and then I just go union. And there's our split lettering. Now because I want to make it fancy, I'm going to be using filigree. You know those fancy swirls and those stuff. Let me just import it. Yes, you are seeing projects that I'm going to be doing later on, but I want this one. Okay, these are the filigree that I'm going to be using. Let's just select off of it. Move this. Okay, so now for this, this looks nice. Just want to flip this 90 degrees. And then let's just, until it feels right. Let's just angle that. Yes, I think that will work. Select from bottom left, everything is selected. And then we click Weld. Now for the top one, I think we're going to be using this one. Yeah, it works beautifully. So from left to right, and we select. Now I'm just going to move this off the page. So let's quickly just see a preview of how this will look. Still on the page. You see, it will look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that is the first letter done and dusted. Now you get to go through and fill in the rest. Do the rest of the 25. You can even do the numbers. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with as many people as possible as I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, yes, then I will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.